All right, so should be able to see that that's going. So we're just going to continue to talk about in general, governments and different types. So once we get through with this chapter, we'll start talking about us specifically, where we came from, how we got here. And hopefully, it's recording. Um, I also tried a different mic because I felt like like Britney Spears or somebody, you know, because of the. Which I worry I'm getting to the point where all of my references y'all don't know anything about. Y'all might know Britney Spears, like crazy Britney Spears, but you know, when I was in college, she was just like famous. Yes. I was a freshman in college back when MTV played music videos and she appeared on our screen. <laughs> Well, she just went through that phase where she shaved her head and, you know, just went. Yeah. So, um, I think it might have been fifth period, too. Like, if I talked about, you know, we talked about different things like Lord of the Rings, all that. They had never seen anything like that. They, they didn't really know what I was talking about. Well, they'd heard of it, but just had never seen any of them. They didn't, they'd never watched Star Wars. Like, it was bad. I'm like, I mean, what do y'all know about? Like, I, that's. Yeah, there's a lot of references to stuff, and I didn't know if anybody caught that. Yes. Which y'all probably should know Harry Potter, even though I didn't really, I'm not a big fan of Harry Potter, but that's probably pretty big for, for you guys. But if it's on Netflix Top 10, I usually watch it, so y'all should... I don't know if y'all watch any of that, but I just got through watching Cobra Kai. Okay, because I was watching the original Karate Kid with my four-year-old because she likes Star Wars and really anything I watch. But my wife was making fun of me for watching it. She's like, this is like Power Rangers for teenagers. I said, no, it is not. Well, I hate Cobra Kai, but <laughs> Mr. Miyagi is my guy. Yeah, he's a good actor. All right, so representative democracy, the people elect agents to carry out laws. Now, I don't know how this is going to take place, but you guys will elect class officers. Your class officers 
you elect them to talk to Miss Hall and Mr. Horton for you. So, you know, if Bree is class president, Mason would go to her and be like, look, and this kind of happened last year because Kobe was president. Everybody, like, wanted a homecoming dance. So they went to Kobe and Sydney, all the officers, and they went and, of course, begged Mr. Horton. He said yes. Now, if a hundred of you guys storm Mr. Horton's office and say, we want a dance, you're not getting a dance, right? And, you know, you're probably going to all get ISS or sent home. So, now, direct democracy would be all you guys running to him or all of you getting a say. But uh, as a senior sponsor, Miss Hall is kind of in charge of like a lot of senior things. And so she works with the class officers. There's four of them. And those four officers and Miss Hall talk to Mr. Horton. And everything's much better because of that. So we elect these people that you see on TV. If you don't like the people you see on TV, you vote them out. So these people, and I don't know if this is a real person or she's from another country. I don't recognize her in any way, but, you know, we have elections coming up. We elect those people to represent you. And if you feel like they don't represent you, then that's when you have change. Now, once you write Constitution of Monarchy, I'll mention to you kind of what you should know, but England is probably a prime example. <clears throat> so really, I just want you to know that Parliament has the power, not the monarchy. Parliament has the power. The monarchy does not. You know, they spend billions of dollars on the Queen of England, and she don't do anything. But, like, she's considered, we'll talk about this later, she's considered the head of state, which is just uh, ceremonies and get-togethers. But as far as making law, the parliament and the prime minister do all that. But England is, in Great Britain, that is where we see that play out. Other countries have it, but the Queen of England is just kind of, you know, if I showed you a picture, everybody's going to know what she looks like. But like, you know, some of the other countries, you're probably not going to recognize them. Queen of England is probably the most popular. Yes, sir. Um... I don't know if they are quite, because we're going to get to a type here in a second that probably might more, uh, yeah, because um, a lot of states have, and we'll see it in, the, in a few slides for now, but a lot of states have a prime minister and a parliament that, and not necessarily a king, queen, or anything like that. That's a, a main figurehead. You know, it's just like even our democracy is unique from a lot of people's. So you have this big umbrella. Maybe it's constitutional monarchies or presidential parliament or whatever. It is, and then there's differences within each country. So these are just really broad terms, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Autocracy is one person holds all the power. Good way to remember that is an automobile, one person drives it. Unless you're like riding with Coach Hall and he can help, you know, slam on the brakes. Uh, so automobile, auto, autocracy, one person. Uh, oligarchy is a small group, and uh, that'd be kind of like China. Like a, you know, China has 
uh, a primary leader, but it's really a, more of a small group runs it. So there's even differences with that. You know, North Korea would be an extreme dictatorship where one person makes all the rules. Uh, it's rumored he got sick and maybe his sister was running the country. Don't really know much. It's hard to get information. You know, they talk about banning TikTok here. Could you imagine living in a country where there was no Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter because they wouldn't want you guys sharing ideas. They wouldn't want you to see what was trending. Right. Yeah. Yeah, you know, because it's funny, a lot of those shows, there's hidden undertones, and there's, you know, it, some countries, they don't want protests that like we have. We can protest, you know, as long as you don't do something illegal. Like, if Bree is protesting, and she's just, like, carrying a sign, but if Bree starts, like, bashing in car windows, well, she committed a crime. But we, And we'll talk about that when we get to the Constitution, but we can protest, you know, peaceably all we want. Uh, in no way should you guys ever, but I've heard of, you know, first days of school across the country, like the students like, walked out uh, just protesting, having to wear a mask, having to do... You know, y'all can go downtown and protest, but y'all just better not protest here because, you know, y'all have to deal with Mr. Horton, but... Um, just a few terms left, unitary, and then we'll talk about federal. We have a federal system, but unitary means that, like, say Washington, D.C. told us all what to do. Um, it's harder when people that you've never met or been to your state tell you what to do. Some of you guys could go meet Florence's mayor, our county commissioners, our sheriff. You could meet our state representatives. Uh, sometimes they come and give our school money. You've probably seen that on social media. Uh, you know, helping out our school system, giving us money checks. We can meet those people. But this form of government, we would never have those people. Or if we did, they're just taking orders from here. And local power is just not, you know, as important. So federal government is more of a shared power. You know, we have states that have different laws. Uh, now, ultimately, our federal government overrides, but our Constitution provides for our states and local governments like, we have a state constitution. So our state constitution lets us in Lauderdale County do things. But we'll get, we'll talk about that later, about how our state constitution's a mess. If you noticed, out of almost 200 countries, you know, this is showing that only 25 others have a federal government similar to ours. <clears throat> Which is, you know, 
no matter how bad it gets here, I do believe we live in the greatest country on the planet. Um, and it has faults. Like, you know, Michael Jordan is the greatest to ever play basketball, but he did miss some shots. And if you think LeBron James is, then you can leave. Just go watch The Last Dance. Come back next Monday and tell me that Michael Jordan is the GOAT. Uh, you know, we had the Confederate States of America when we fought North and South. Uh, you might have heard of Indian Confederations. Maybe groups of Indians, when they war with other Indians, they form a confederation just for that short time, and then they may disband. Uh, you might have heard about the European Union. Uh, they're all their own country, but they kind of formed a group. Uh, you know, they started, you know, a lot of those countries are so close together, kind of like if, like our states are located. So they went to the same type of money. So that when they constantly travel, like you guys wouldn't want to go to Georgia and get a different money just to use in Georgia. So uh, they started using the euro. And that just made things a little easier. And then we have two last notes of the day. It's kind of like what I mentioned earlier, presidential government. Uh, so, and, and when we get to the Constitution, we'll talk about these branches. But we're divided uh, and our powers are separated. So, voters elect these guys in legislative branch and we vote on this guy and then he has people that work under him. Uh, they're kind of equal to each other. We'll talk about what each branch can do. What can the president do? What is his powers? What is Congress? What are their powers and they can do? So, We would kind of fall under this huge umbrella, but then everybody under that umbrella could do things differently. And I think this, yeah, this is our last thing. So this is more, uh, this could be similar to Canada, Spain, Great Britain. Uh, it would, this would be the umbrella that they would fall under. Voters elect, say, parliament. A lot of times it's called parliament, but it's their legislature. Um, and within that legislative branch, they select a prime minister or their executive, whatever they call him. They could call him a lot of things, but a lot of people call him a prime minister. So this is kind of the majority. So, of course, this umbrella is bigger than the, uh, the other, but... The countries that have constitutions, uh, rule, uh, rules for their government process, they're going to make the decisions on how people are elected. So this is just more of a broad term, but majority of our countries actually fall under this. That's why if you hear if like Trump met with a prime minister of a country, then they may most likely have this type system where Parliament is kind of the main thing uh, in that country. Uh, 
so like I mentioned, prime minister is usually a term that they use. But that's all the notes that we'll talk about today. And if you remember Tuesday's list, uh, we had our bell work. And there's a short article to read. Uh, and all you got to do is make a comment. 